Hey guys, Parfax here. Today, we are giving you my thoughts on the beta when it comes to New World. Now, it's about two o'clock in the morning on Monday the 2nd. I know it's the last day and it makes me sad, but I wanted to give you my thoughts, the good and the bad of everything that has happened in New World so far. All right, let's get started. So we're here in New World and we're on the last day of the beta. It is oh, just a couple weeks now before the launch. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on everything that has happened so far in the beta, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, all that good stuff. All right, so first we're gonna start talking about the pros and the things that have happened that I have absolutely loved. So first, I absolutely loved the PVP in the beginning. There were so many people flagged. It was constant PVP. If you didn't want PVP, you just couldn't flag. Like there was PVP literally everywhere. I spent three hours on one quest because every time I went there, I just ended up trying to kill people and PVP and it was an absolute blast. I can't even tell you, this is some of the funnest time I've actually had in an MMO, especially PvP. It was an absolute riot. And then also some of the good things is I love some of the things they've done with the weapons. Now, if you guys played back in the last open beta, or I should say it was an open beta, this one's a closed beta, the weapon system was kind of crap. Uh, I, I, I very much complained about it. There was a three weapon system with three abilities that all shared cooldowns and it was clunky. The game just, it really didn't feel good. And I was extremely down on the game at that point and was very unfortunate, but I love what they've done with the weapon system. Now we'll touch a little bit on the combat in the cons. Uh, there's not much of it, but we'll touch a little bit more on it, but I love what they've done with the weapons and I love what they've, they've how they've progressed the combat system. Now, I will say also, and it kind of touches on both of these, which is the reason why I put the PVP at the beginning and the combat system first. But the 1v1 in this game is some of the funnest gameplay I have ever played. Now, there are some weapons that are a little bit over tuned, which we will touch on that here in a little bit. But just to say that the combat, the 1v1 is amazing. I love it. It is absolutely insane. It is a chess match. Now, some matches, depending on your weapon, depending on what you're playing against, can feel less like a chess match and kind of like your typical MMO kind of like run, you know, kind of a weird combination. Uh, but for the most part, it's very fun engaging and exciting obviously as you can see here i mean uh, i do have to put the graphics on here the graphics are just absolutely beautiful they are the best graphics in any game i've ever played at least when it comes to you know an mmo the immersion is insane the sound of just you know hitting a rock it just sounds real Gunshots from the musket. I'm a hunter. I've listened to many gunshots and it sounds very close to what actual gunshots sound like when you're out hunting in the woods. You know, just the overall world I absolutely love the look of and it's just, I mean, it's a gorgeous game. If you say it's not a gorgeous game, then you're either, you know, just hating on the game or just don't understand what you're talking about. There's no other MMO out there that can touch the not even bdo can touch the graphics of this game maybe you don't like the realism art style and you can maybe say that but this game is insane when it comes to the look of it also i love the ui the ui is very clean for the most part i you know i'd prefer not to have as many quests on my right hand side i think there's a setting that can take it off um, there's a couple settings I did have to tweak to kind of get things where I wanted. I have had the game running on the highest graphic setting the entire time that I've played, which has been really good. Um, but I do like what they've done with the UI. It's very 
clean, very, you know, just on point. I love the art style of this kind of, not blackboard, but almost like a blackboard, black and white sketch type of, you know, UI system. You have very, everything's very clean. Now, when you do things like look at your, you know, chat window, there's nobody in the chat window right now. Um, but it can look a little bit cluttered when it comes all the way up to your screen here and you have this here it Can look a little bit like there's just a bunch of stuff going on But I actually do enjoy the fact that you can extend the chat to look at it a little bit more if you want to see a bunch of different things So overall it has been great. The PVE has been pretty fun as well I have enjoyed doing specific builds in specific types of areas if anybody knows me They know that I'm not a huge pve -er. So when it comes to actually doing like the dungeons and stuff like that, um, it was actually pretty fun. Now, they're not extremely challenging at the very early levels, and they're not something that, you know, you'll have to really coordinate a group until you get to some of the higher level ones. But it's a very refreshing change of pace. You're seeing now one of the dungeons that I did. It's the first level 25 dungeon, and it's an absolute blast to get in there with some people the first couple times you do it. It gives you some decent experience. It's a fun, you know, way to go in there, get some gear. And overall, it's something I really enjoy. So now that we've talked about everything that went really well, and there's plenty of things I could go into. We don't want to make this a 25 minute video. Um, but let's start talking a little bit about the negative, because if you've known my channel, we've talked a ton and ton and ton about the positives. But let's talk a little bit about the negative. So some of the negatives, we're going to go into sort of, in my opinion, the two worst things, which are sometimes server performance isn't the greatest. Now, it's nothing as bad as some other games that I've played, but coming from Amazon, I would expect a little bit better. There are times where the server did get a little bit laggy. Now, sometimes when I relog, re it would fix it, fix it. So I don't know if it's a memory leak, but there's sometimes the server just would be kind of laggy. And every once in a while in a few city sieges at very certain points, the game would get very laggy. Now, I like I said, I do have everything turned up to the max. And like during the siege, I was recording, I was streaming, everything was to the max and I was in the middle of the fray. So that's a lot of work on my computer that's not as high tech as some other people's computers. But I would hope that they would do a little better. Now, I don't know if, I, if I've ever played an MMO that didn't have some form of server issues. There wasn't some form of lag, you know, ESO's had many of its problems, Crowfall, Black Desert, wow. I'm sure Final Fantasy, I've seen clips of Final Fantasy where like shit just wasn't popping in and you know, everything's like rendering as you walk up to it, you know, depending on what's all going on. So it's kind of an, uh, an industry standard when you're trying to put so many people in an area, but I would hope for it to be a little bit better. Now, probably the worst thing that has you know been an issue for me or probably the biggest downfall are a few of the exploits that have been found now it's a beta and i am always under the impression that when you're in a beta it's not okay to exploit and i'm not saying that but it's okay to find exploits that's what betas are for betas are for everybody getting in there and testing things out so that they can find exploits and find ways to fix them it's not even just finding the exploit they might even know about an exploit but they might need a bunch of people on the server testing it out and doing different things to find exactly what ex certain exploits are. For if you didn't know, for instance, there is a leveling exploit where you can go and reuse the board over and over again. There's even an exploit with a board where you can have the same uh, quest, complete the same quest over and over again with using zero resources. There is a two axe weapon bug where you can double hit which we'll talk about weapons in a second for the negative um uh there's a there was a dueling exploit which they fixed already um so there's a lot of exploit not a lot of exploits but there's a few exploits in the game that were getting people ahead so what it kind of did was it made a pretty significant of the population really far ahead of everybody else now not everybody that was 60 or 55 exploited I know most of them did, don't get me wrong. Some of them actually did just put in the time, but a lot of them exploited for sure. And it's a beta. It doesn't bother me. What I wish they would have done was to actually just give us level 60 characters like after the first week. 
give us the ability to have level 60 characters so we can actually test out a lot of the end game stuff my one worry is there's not enough people testing out the end game um dungeon and end game zones that when they get to there they're going to find more bugs and stuff like that uh, i imagine they'll be pretty quick to fix it they are a pretty big studio but you know you just want to try to prevent that as much as possible and i do feel that if they had you know extra time and you give everybody a level 60 character that we could have helped prevent that one of the final negative things on my list is actually weapon balance now for the most part there's a lot of weapons that are pretty good but there are a few weapons that are uh, either have a bug or are just extremely extremely good so you can probably see two of the weapons on my bar and you probably know i'm going to talk about both of them and that is the hatchet and the great axe now the great axe has a bug that makes it deal double damage it's overall an insanely good weapon and then hatchet is essentially like a berserk is such an insanely good mechanic uh, now the hatchet is insane it's by far probably well these two are by far the best 1v1 weapons but great axe just happens to be the best like a siege weapon too um hatch is not quite as good in siege as great axe which in my tier list is the reason why i didn't rank it um the, like the best weapon but these two weapons are by far um i think heads and tails above pretty much every other weapon uh you know maybe when they fix the great axe buff or the bug and then maybe a little bit of a nerf to berserk and these two weapons will be fine don't get me wrong i love playing them and if they don't nerf them i will 100 percent probably be running this combo <laughs> when new world launches for a few different reasons but i just wish there was a little bit more of a balance when it came to your weapons um bow needs a buff for sure i think it's by far the worst weapon in the game people have gave me a lot of shit for that you can go look on my other youtube you know videos i've gotten many of kills with the bow but just because you get kills with a bow doesn't mean it's good things like latency damage you know, all that stuff just kind of make the bow not nearly as good, in my opinion, as most of the other weapons. You know, not saying you can't get kills. I've gotten many kills with the bow, but it actually needs more setup where all the weapons really none of them need any setup. They're just great on their own. But all right, that's kind of my pros and cons of the beta. We're going to have a bunch of things like should you buy and we're going to have a we're going to do a video where it's like one year predictions of where I think New World's going to be in a year. We're going to have a bunch of New World videos coming up, especially this week. And then we might take a little bit of break from New World content, not a lot. Um, and then for sure, starting the week before New World launches, we're going to do that. And we're going to have an insane launch day. So uh, stick around. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Gaming. All that good stuff. You can follow me on Twitter as well. I post my stream stuff there and I post some random stuff every once in a while. It can be kind of funny. We're going to try to maybe ramp up Twitter a little bit more. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the pros, the cons. It was just kind of a blog style short video of just my thoughts of the beta. Overall, I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for this to launch. I will be absolutely slamming this come the 31st. And I absolutely cannot wait. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.